Welcome to Mrs. V's Reading Corner, where you can enjoy books for educational, fun, or even bedtime stories. Please take the time to like this video, comment below with how you enjoyed it, book suggestions, and more. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get all the new books that I post first. Soil by Sally M. Walker. What changes occur under the ground? What is soil? Did you ever make mud pies when you were little? If you did, soil was one of the ingredients you used. You may have called it dirt instead of soil. Soil is in lots of places. You can find soil under the grass. It surrounds tree and flower roots. It lies beneath sidewalks and streets. If you could lift your house, you would probably find soil under it too. A scoop of soil contains many things. Soil has rocks in it. Plants and bits of leaves are in soil. Many creatures live in soil too. Soil is a natural resource. Natural resources are materials found on earth that can help many things. They are made by nature, not people. Soil helps plants and animals grow. They cannot live without it. But where does soil come from? How soil forms. Soil is made up of different kinds of material. One of these materials is bits of rock. Rocks are broken pieces of bedrock. Bedrock is the layer of solid rock that covers the outside of earth. Rocks are hard, but they can be broken into tiny bits. Tiny bits are called particles. Water, ice and wind are strong enough to break rocks. Rushing water in rivers makes rocks roll and tumble. The rocks break into smaller pieces. Tiny particles of the rocks break loose. Rainwater seeps into cracks in rocks. If it gets cold enough, the water freezes. It becomes ice. Ice takes up more space than water. So the ice pushes against the rock and make the cracks bigger. Pieces of the rock break off. Glaciers are giant moving slabs of ice. Glaciers are very heavy. Their weight slowly grinds big rocks into small pieces. Wind blows sand grains against big rocks. The sand grains scrub off particles of rock. Rocks are made of minerals. A mineral is a hard substance made in nature. Minerals are not alive like plants or animals. The mineral in a rock becomes a part of the soil when the rock breaks apart. Minerals are an important part of soil. They add nutrients to soil. Nutrients are substances that help living things grow. Soil contains nutrients that plants and animals need to stay healthy. Hummus is the second material that is in soil. Hummus is dark brown or black. It is made of bits of dead plants and animals. Hummus is made by bacteria. Bacteria are tiny living things. They are so tiny that they can be seen only with a microscope. Microscopes are tools that make small things look big. Bacteria eat dead plants and animals. They break the plant and animal into tiny pieces. The pieces become hummus. Hummus contains nutrients that have been inside the plants and animals. The nutrients can become part of the soil. Air is the third material in soil. Soil is full of air spaces. Some air spaces 
are large. You can easily see them. You can see the tunnels that earthworms dig in soil. An earthworm's hole is filled with air. Soil also has tiny air spaces. The tiny spaces are between bits of minerals and hummus. Most of these spaces are too small for you to see, but they are there. Water is the fourth material found in soil. Water can move around in soil. It trickles through the soil's air spaces. The moving water picks up nutrients from the soil. The water carries the nutrients into roots of plants. Soil forms on flat land. It forms alongside rivers. It forms on forest floors and on low hills. Soil forms as hummus and rock particles begin to pile up. It can take hundreds of years for one inch of soil to form. Soil cannot form in some places. Soil cannot form on steep mountains. That's because soil making materials slide down the mountain. Soil cannot form in very windy places or places where water flows quickly. In these places, soil making materials can't pile up. They do not have enough time to become soil. What soil looks like. Soil can be made of many different kinds of minerals. Different minerals can be different colors. The minerals in hummus and soil help give the soil its color. Many soils are a shade of brown, but some are yellow. Some are even bright orange red. Soil also has different textures. Texture is how rough or smooth something is. The texture of soil depends on the size of the soil's particles. The largest mineral particles in soil are called sand. You can see the mineral particles in sandy soil. Sand particles feel rough when you rub them between your fingers. Some sand sized particles have sharp jagged edges. Others are mostly round. Another kind of particle in soil is called silt. Silt particles are much smaller than sand particles. It's hard to see silt particles. If you rub silt between your fingers, it feels smooth. Silt sized particles are shaped like sand particles. Clay particles are the smallest particles in soil. They are too small to see without a microscope. Clay particles are flat. Sand particles have big air spaces between them. Water drains quickly through the spaces, so puddles rarely form in sandy soil. Silt particles have smaller spaces between them. Water takes longer to drain through small spaces. Flat clay particles get squeezed together. The spaces between clay particles are tiny. Water has a hard time trickling through tiny air spaces. Clay particles also soak up water, so it takes a long time for water to drain through soil that has a lot of clay. Soil with equal amount of sand, silt, and clay particles is called loam. Loom is very good for growing plants. It holds just the right amount of water for growing roots. Soil that has mostly sand sized particles is called sandy loom. Water drains quickly through sandy loom. Soil with mostly clay sized particles is called clay loom. Water drains slowly through clay loom. Rain often forms puddles in clay loam. What kind of texture does your soil have? Rub the soil between your fingers. Does it feel rough, smooth, or in between? Put some soil in your palm. Add a small amount of water to your soil. Add only enough to make the soil moist. 
If it seems too wet, add a little more soil. Mix the soil and water together with your fingers. See if you can mold the soil into a flat circle. If you can, your soil has a lot of clay. If the circle crumbles, the soil contains more sand and silt than clay. The next time you go outside, look at the soil around you. Notice its color. See what kinds of plants are growing in it. Feel its texture. Watch how people take care of the soil. Try to think of ways that you could care for the soil around your house. Plants, animals, and people will always need healthy soil. The end.